Defiance is a third-person shooter first, and an MMO second. And what that means is you're playing in the same world with thousands of other players. We take that you know, great moment-to-moment third-person shooter gameplay, and we put that in this huge, seamless open world, combining it with pixel-perfect accuracy shooting. So based on your own skill, you either make a headshot or you don't. And this is the first time that a shooter has done this on this scale. That's always on, always evolving, and your character advances in this world. Defiance differs from traditional shooters because the game goes on whether you are present or not. Whenever you're ready to play and jump on, you're actually jumping into the world and seeing what's going on right at that moment. As you're running around in the world, new things are actually happening all the time. Defiance doesn't have a traditional lobby system. In effect, the world is your lobby. There are session-based both cooperative maps as well as player versus player conflict maps. You can queue up for those, but you're never taken out of the seamless open world, so it's not like you're stuck staring at a screen. You don't go into a lobby, you just say, hey, I want to play this through our user interface, and then you can keep doing what you're doing, and when it's ready to go, you jump in automatically. Because the world is so massive, we want to give players a really fun way to get from place to place. And we do that through our vehicles. At any time, you can press a button on the controller and your vehicle will appear in front of you. You can hop on it and take off across the Bay Area. And it's fully physics-based, so just traveling across our world is a blast. But in addition to that, we also have different vehicles that you get to have in sort of group activities, where the person on the back has their own personal machine gun and someone has a missile launcher, to our sort of transport vehicles, which you use for some resource gathering. In Defiance, character progression runs along many parallel courses. The most fundamental one is you're going to be finding and acquiring new weapons in a lot of different ways as you go through. Obviously, being a third-person shooter, the biggest thing that we have is weapons. We have lots of cool weapons, thousands of weapons that you can collect. But you're going to get more and more dangerous weapons, including ones of alien design, like an incubator or a biomedical gun. Even once you get a weapon and you think is great, you can actually customize that as you see fit. You will actually see a visual difference between improved weapons in the game and unmodified weapons inside the game. You will be able to earn points and spend those points to improve your character's abilities. And that's the core thing that kind of defines a special power that you can, as a player, deploy at various times. And some of these abilities will be offensive, some of them will be defensive. But what's key here is that you as a player can swap that around at any time and you can upgrade those. And a big part of that is the fact that, again, we really want the players to be able to craft their own experience. Cooperative play is what it's all about, you know, getting in the game, playing with your buddies, and we really want to ensure that people aren't locked into very specific roles. It's just a matter of playing the game for a little bit, seeing what game style you like, and then just choose the weapons, abilities that you enjoy playing with and save them to a template where you can use them later for the right scenario. Players are going to find different ways of relating to people. It's that really fun experience that if anyone's played any cooperative game with strangers, they start to see that social moment. They start to experience something where we pull together as a group, we accomplish something together, and that actually means something. Defiance is shipping on three major platforms, PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. It is a massive event, not only to be tied in with a television series, but to allow all of those different platforms to play simultaneously inside of an MMO universe. The most revolutionary thing about Defiance is this new level of immersion we create. We allow players to watch the show, play the game, and change the world.